New details tonight on that early morning shooting at a Waffle House in Lynchburg. Lynchburg police say this happened Sunday morning just before 3 a.m. The victims, a 74-year-old security guard and a 30-year-old man, both now in stable condition, two people have been arrested. Those are the people on your screen right now. Mariam Finch faces multiple charges, including malicious wounding, and Shantia Turpin faces multiple charges as well, including obstruction of justice. 10 News reporter Amy Cockrum is live right now at the Waffle House where it happened. I know, Amy, you've been there all day and you've learned that this all happened after a, a fight before the shooting. John, that's right. A video on social media shows multiple people in a fight, one of those appearing to be one of the victims. Now, we don't know what the fight was about, but we know that gunshots rang out afterwards. And you can see that there are boarded up windows behind me as um, we know that gunshots went through those windows after the shooting. But the business itself is back open for business right now. I'm in a land for no reason, bro. No reason, bro. Popping. No reason. They shot me in my leg. I'm hurt. This video circulating online shows the moment one of the Waffle House shooting victims started a Facebook Live shortly after he was shot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Another video obtained by 10 News shows the brawl that led up to the shooting. Oh my God. Within the day, two people were arrested for the crimes. While Lynchburg police declined to speak on camera, they say that since 2021, they've had 75 calls for service at the same Waffle House. The last shots fired call was in 2021, and shots were fired in 2020 as well. Waffle House Communications responded to the shooting saying, quote, Because this still remains an active police investigation, we defer all questions to the local authorities handling it. We have no further statement. These startling images have city leaders calling for change. Our city deserves better than that because everybody goes to that Waffle House. Our families go to that Waffle House. People's families worked at that Waffle House. Um, and that's unacceptable. The, the, not only the individual that shot the video, but looking at the people in there, those employees, and how they just seem to be so devastated and overwhelmed. City leaders encourage people to see something, say something, to make sure acts of violence don't continue in the Hill City. Just make sure that the community knows that we all have a part to play. I spoke to a Waffle House employee off camera today who tells me that they are praying for the people who were hurt physically from the shooting, but as well also the people who were hurt mentally from witnessing the horrifying situation. Live in Lynchburg, Amy Cochran, 10 News, working for you.